Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa and today I have some um project shares that I want to I want to come on and share with you. Um I created a couple of embellishments for swaps and to have them ready. Um I just need them now to be packaged up. I still haven't um, decided how I'm going to package them up. But I just wanted it to come and share with you. So, uh, this side right here, I created Thinking Maggie Holmes Embellishment. And I am using the We Are Memory Keepers your vent chick paper pad and this is I have just like pieces and maybe one or two sheets of them of it that's why I'm just showing you the cover uh, but I got this on a peachy sheep deal and I also I am using the cardstock stack milky patterns I'm not sure where I got this one from but it is by DCWB and as you can see, I have all of the leftover um, scraps and a few more pieces. And this one is double-sided. And it's kind of um, like a glossy finish. So, uh, let me share with you. I did use my mini attacher. And then I layer a scallop circle with a heart circle and then some sentiments i also use these maggie holmes um stamper or roller stamp and then there's this one right here and then this one here i use a little gold uh enamel dot or gold enamel heart and then i thought it would be cute to punch out a tiny bow here as a duplicate and then i made this one that i personally love how this uh this is a button actually so this is from my do that uh container that i have here on my desk I'm actually trying to use up all of those doodads that I don't have a place for. And then this one says, you make me happy. Some of the sentiments I did cut into to make it two pieces so I can layer them or um, put them on the embellishments. This one I use a crepe paper rose set on the back. And then this one, there's another um, crepe paper. And then this one, I just put some foam tape on the middle and layer a circle. And then a button from the Mackie Holmes uh, carousel collection. And then this one has the little shoes and it says Tress Tress Cheeks. Cheek. And then I, I thought it would look good if I put a yellow um, crown here. And then there's this one. And then I just staple a tiny little gold heart. And then this one says hello. And I didn't want to put anything on this one because I thought it would look cute. And then this one, I did the negative of the punch, mini bow punch. And then here I added the uh, one of the bows. And then this one, I layered two hearts. Sorry about that. And a scallop. And then I just bend it, stipple in the middle, and then bend it to make it, to give it some dimension. And then this one, uh, I believe this one's the first one that I created. And I didn't really, I didn't think that it was a good idea after all. But um, I put um, yes, and then there's like a picture, circle picture of um, the Urban Shake 
paper and then on the back I layer it like a heart but it doesn't kind of tell so that's why I was in too short and then I just put in the middle a gold mini heart a mini bow and then I just layer back with another scallop so those are the ones that I created um, I'm not sure how you call this uh, embellishments but yeah so next I or I when I first saw them I got it on a happy mail I think it was like a pocket letter um, that came in it but I was uh, inspired by this and this is like a mini square that actually measures one and a quarter and then I thought it was so cute that it had like a little heart punch and it's just beautiful and then like a paper clip holding it and it was mounted on some foam dot so I actually found a pack uh Tuesday morning and but I wanted it to create mine because I purchased a set of stickers that were on clearance at Hobby Lobby not so long ago and they were this stickers it was like entire sheet of this um, metal sticker here and that's what I I wanted to recreate that and it kind of looks similar it's not the same this one is more like a rectangle and this is like a square but I really liked it. So I went ahead and dig onto my dies, my punches, and I decided to create this. I am using uh, rose gold paper clips from the 99 cent store. And then here I just put a clown. And there's the stickers here once upon a time. So a clown, I thought it was a good idea to put. Uh, you know, because all fairy tales has clowns in it and rainbows and cuteness. <laughs> So that's the first one that I made, or one of the, the ones that I made. And I'm not sure why they are lifted because I did use glue, so I think I need to put some more. So in this one, uh, there is the sticker has like a Polaroid with a roller coaster and someone making a heart. And then I put, I just punch out a one inch circle and I put one of the sentiments from this roller stamp this is the sweet life and i thought that looks so cute and then i just back it with some plain uh, cardstock and then this is another one is this one says oh snap and then the sentiment that i choose to put on this one it says have courage and be kind and then this one right here is, it's a smaller punch and this one says dream a little dream and this one has a hot air balloon is explore life and then there's this one it says lucky in love enjoy the little things and then i just put a heart i don't think this is a sticker it could be yeah i think it is and then i just um put some run some uh powder on the back so the the stickiness went away oopsies and then this one says while i'm free and this one has the best ever and then i just put like a tiny little circle punch there on the back just to give it a little bit of glitter this one is his best friends for life and he has a tiny heart and then as the word life there again this one says hello beautiful and then i just cut like a stripe of uh silver glitter paper and then this one says love you more and it has a little smaller clown there and this one i think is my favorite it says life is life is for loving love is for giving and then it says hello and then there's a tiny circle punch there 
This one says, hello, woohoo, an exclamation for joy or approval. And then this one says, happy little moment. And it has like a deer on the back with a flower print and a gold circle punch. And then this one, I did it a little smaller to see the how it looked. But I liked it when it, the backing or the paper that I put on the back, it's uh, bigger. So I think this was the first one that I created, but it's a vintage camera. Polaroid camera and this is sweet and then a tiny little white circle and my paper clip so those were um, created or recreated using the, or inspired by this sticker and then and next I have some unicorn unicorn swaps uh, coming up and I created this cupcake unicorn theme <laughs> uh, And they look like so so I first started with uh, This flowers from Prima that I had on my stash since forever and I thought they were gonna be enough But I end up doing a little more than enough um, A little more of this embellishments because I was having so much fun uh, I am using a Sussex die, and it comes with the backing, the frosting, and the cupcake liner, and then a cherry here. So I created this. I just uh, made a triangle punch, or triangle punch, triangle cutout to do the horn. I didn't put any, um, like what's called? ears because I'm not too good to do like fussy cutting on my own so I didn't have anything to copy kind of or to trace but yeah so this are the first four here I'm using some uh, fabric flowers from the King Dollar that I had in my stand I recently picked up the blue with the middle on the blink the middle there's a bling in the middle and then the white and the pink and then this one here looks like so and then those are the bottom and then this other flowers are prima as well so that's one of the packaging and then there's another one here And then this or the other one. Pretty much are the same. I tried to re did the same things. And yeah. So these are my project shares so far. Thank you so much for watching you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.